Flooding in Louisiana continued to surge over the weekend. Levees were open, sending muddy Mississippi water spewing. That probably saved Baton Rouge and New Orleans, New Orleans and a number of oil refineries. But environmentalists might say Cajun country farmers were sacrificed to save the oil. Joining us now is Representative Jeff Landry from Louisiana. Welcome back, Representative. Please give us the very latest on what's going on in your state. Well, thank you, Eric. Uh, you know, we, we received word yesterday from USDA that they would go ahead and cover uh, those farmers in the spillway <laughs> who have crop insurance and planning and, and plant insurance that they would uh, uh, cover their costs from either those uh, crops that were actually planted and uh, they were, were going to harvest this year or those that were going to be planted in the fall, which was great news for us because for a while they were saying they were not going to cover it. Right, sir. Who Take us through the process. Who makes the decision to open the, the Morganza spillway? Well, you, the Corps of Engineers ultimately has the decision to open the Morganza spillway. It's a delicate dance that they do from, uh, from upriver all the way down to the Gulf of Mexico as they try to dance the river down uh, to the Gulf of Mexico. And, of course, that structure hadn't been open since 1973, uh, which was the last time we saw this amount of water out here. And back then, it was, it was detrimental to this area as well. Representative, um, a lot of the let's call them environmentalists are saying that uh, what you've done or what they've done or the Corps has done is sacrifice some of the farmers to save the oil refineries. Tell us, is it all about the oil or, or are there more people in, in line uh, of fire, so to speak? No, Eric, of course, you know, it's probably some environmentalists up in, uh, you know, uh, Chicago that's doing that. I look, when you look at the system as a whole, we needed to start to open that structure up. I was concerned. I lived down here. I was born and raised here. And, and the water was getting so close to topping that structure, uh, it was getting <clears throat> dangerous. If that, if that structure becomes topped and the Corps of Engineers loses the ability to control that structure, if we lost that structure, it would flood everyone down here. We would have uh, you know, tens of thousands of more people in property uh, in harm's way. So it's, it's not a picking the oil companies over the farmers out here. It's, it, it's really protecting all of the communities in, in Louisiana. All right, uh, Representative Jeff Landry, thank you for joining us. Thank you for your time, sir. We're all praying for you. Thank you.